I feel like we can all unite over this last story uh, because it's uh, it's about Jeff Bezos fucking over the working class. And I don't know if there are uh, a lot of people that like Jeff Bezos. Does anybody know? Does Jeff Bezos have friends? Does he have any friends at all? I don't know. It's very un unclear to me whether he's he's got a friend or not. Uh, my guess is no. My guess is that he's enough of a sociopath that he doesn't actually have friends. Uh, that would be my guess. Um, so this comes from NBC News. Uh, this is an NBC News article. Uh, so like I said, every so often you gotta you gotta look into a corporate media story, right? Uh, you you gotta diversify your your spread here. Uh, so we got a couple Congress people. Senators urge Jeff Bezos to offer sick leave for, um, uh, you know, uh, their their employees, the Amazon employees, especially ones working in the warehouse. We got Cory Booker, Bob Menendez, uh, Bernie Sanders, and Sherrod Brown. Four uh, four lefties, I guess. Uh, everybody's a Democrat except for Bernie, who's an independent uh, out of Vermont. They sent a letter to Bezos. Uh, outlining what they wanted him to do, and I and I believe uh, that uh, uh, Bernie's was the only one that was very strongly worded. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, even in his letters, there's a lot of this, a lot of hand motions going. Uh, let me explain something to you right now, Mr. Bezos. Okay, we just want uh, really quickly. The American people will not stand for this. There's a lot of. I mean, even in the letters, you can feel it. It's more of it's more of what you can feel from Bernie. Uh, is the is their sternness, uh, and I believe his letter was the only one uh, uh, that called him uh, a fucking slime bag. So uh, you know everybody else was like real cordial about it, uh, and he was like, "Your fucking greed is not going to be tolerated. We're coming for the money. Pay your taxes, Jeff. Pay your taxes, or else we will come and take it. Your fucking slime bag." That was in Bernie's letter. Uh, because Bernie's not afraid to swear, and I kind of like that about him. <laughs> you know, he's just like, I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> so they gave him a deadline to respond to this letter, and that's March 26th. So in uh, at the date of this recording, that's four days from now. Four days from now, uh, he has to respond to this letter. And uh, the, uh, basically, they asked Amazon to cover testing for their workers. Uh, in the letter, they asked him. They were like, "Hey, could is it okay? Maybe do you think? Do you think you maybe could do that with your 150 billion dollars, which is an astronomical amount of money that even God is like, maybe it's too much." Uh, this is the, this is the crazy part about the rhetoric that they use too. Is they asked whether he would shut, uh, you know, shut down instead of just telling him to do it. They were like, "Maybe you can shut down, possibly. I don't know." Think about it, you know, sleep on it on your giant pile of money. Uh, when you just sleep on it, inhaling uh, the smell of the Fed, uh, just you just think about what maybe you want to help uh, uh, your workers and and just shut down and uh, uh, and 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 take care of some of your just you don't have to you no know, to instead of just being like fucking do it, you sociopath, just fucking do it. So uh, an Amazon spokesperson did come out um, after this was said, uh, and they made a statement that said, uh, uh, extreme measures have been taken to keep people safe. And here's what I think the extreme measures is. What they've been doing is that they have been taking uh, hand sanitizer um, and then just squeezing it uh, onto Jeff Bezos' bald head and rubbing that right in uh, into his cranial structure um, and then, and then, what they're hoping is um, the the sanitizer and all of its cleansing properties will just trickle down uh, to the to the the working class. That's what they're. That's I mean, those are very extreme measures. Uh, you know, just totally ignoring how reality works is that's an extreme measure. Uh, so here's what Amazon said it'll do. They'll they'll cover two weeks of pay. For patients that have the 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 situation and have been placed in quarantine, uh, yeah, that's fucking all of us, you maniac. Like all of us, <laughs> like all of us are in quarantine right now. It's, so should your employees. They should also be at home. 
They should also like be with your families, hanging out, you know, fucking not be fulfilling. This is why you have drones. This is why you have the, the drones can just do it. You know, like had we actually thought about it, implemented UBI and gone into automation, this wouldn't be a fucking problem. He's sociopath fucking idiot <laughs> like this is so this is so stupid like oh we're gonna offer two weeks that's gonna be fine then you just come back uh and then all of the other people that got it will give you the same disease again uh but i don't think we're gonna cover it i mean we already gave you the two weeks you know it's just like what do you think we're just made out of money fucking yes you have 150 billion dollars you psycho that's you being made out of money the weight of 150 billion even in all hundreds is is just way more than the mass of a human body. Yes, you were made out of money at this point. So he also has a $25 million Amazon relief fund for 250,000 workers uh, that uh, work at 110 different sites of Amazon, right? So that's $25 million, 250,000 workers. That's $100 per employee. That's what this fund has. It has $100 per employee. That's like nothing. That's like nothing. I mean, sure, it's it's more than it's more than like not having $100 at all, but like fucking Jesus, man. And this is the, but this is the way that they do it, right? This is the same thing as like at the end of at the end of every year, we always hear these 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 stories about how these corporations are doing so, these really nice things, and they're such nice people, and everybody should love them. And they're you know, it's like oh man, look look how great they are. They gave fucking two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in bonuses to all of their like that's crazy. And the way that they use it is like. It's like they gave two hundred fifty thousand dollars to every one of their employees, but it's not for one and for two. It's a one-time payment that they're giving, right? And it's a small amount. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, they have two, you know, two hundred thousand employees. Everybody got an extra fucking fifteen dollars in their paycheck, and everybody's supposed to be like, oh boy, what a great gift for Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you get you're giving a hundred dollars per employee, and that's your relief fund. It's just like these people that have this astronomical amount of wealth just don't understand. Mo like the the value of money period they just don't they're just like yeah a hundred dollars is probably good right that's that's like pocket change everybody everybody could use a little bit of a little bit of pocket no it's like that's what we're gonna live on you fucking sociopath and then oh this is the other this is the last thing too is uh basically they were like what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer a two dollar an hour raise um to our employees that's what we're gonna do Yet they shouldn't be fucking working at all, though. You should be paying them sick leave for this entire time because you have it. And it, even if you covered sick leave for every single employee in your company, just out of what Jeff Bezos makes alone, that's a debt. Like that's nothing. That's fucking nothing in 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 the total amount of money that Jeff Bezos makes. Maybe he'll maybe he'll drop down to like a hundred and forty seven billion dollars that he doesn't have to pay taxes on. Like that's that's virtually nothing to him. But Jeff Bezos has a hole in his brain where the empathy center is supposed to be. So what can you expect, right? Hey everybody, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please hit the like button. Please share it. Um, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be posting videos uh, pretty much every day, and the video that you just watched is from uh, a live video that I did on Facebook, and I will be doing them every single Sunday, so uh, if you're not following me on Facebook, uh, please do so, and then you can join in on the on the conversations that we'll be having uh, live on Facebook, but uh, in the meantime, uh, this, this would be when I would be telling you about some live stand updates, but right now I don't, uh, have any of those, and I'm not sure when we'll be resuming live events, so, um, hit the like button, share it, and, uh, if you, uh, if you do have the means to, if you are able to, um, you can, uh, you can donate at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate, you can become a sustaining member, or just make a one-time donation, uh, whatever whatever works for you and if you can't no problem there will be tons of content out uh, for free because I think we all need it we all need to be good to each other right now so stay well